Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant James Wright, and I'm from Camp Casey, Korea, and I would like to wish my family and friends out of South Carolina and Texas a happy holidays. Good morning, East Texas. I'm Sarah Miller, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. Mexican troops and federal police kept a nighttime watch on a rural field where thieves abandoned a stolen shipment of highly radioactive cobalt-60, while officials began planning the delicate task of recovering the dangerous material. Here's more. Authorities in central Mexico have found a shipment of radioactive material that was headed for a storage facility aboard a truck that was stolen Tuesday and later abandoned. Police found the radioactive material, cobalt-60, in a rural area not far from the abandoned truck. They say the material had been removed from its container. Although the discovery didn't require any evacuation, one official said that anyone involved in opening the container could be in danger of dying, perhaps in just days. Officials say the cobalt-60 had been used in radiation therapy equipment at a hospital in Tijuana. It was being transported to a nuclear waste facility in central Mexico when the truck was stolen. The driver told authorities he was sleeping in the vehicle when two men approached him at gunpoint and took off in the truck. A top nuclear safety official in Mexico says there was nothing to indicate the theft of the Cobalt 60 itself was intentional or part of a plan to carry out an act of terrorism. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press. Here are the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. Fast food workers across the U.S. plan to walk off the job Thursday. Employees in as many as 100 cities could demonstrate and call for higher wages and the right to unionize. Florida wildlife workers hope to lead dozens of whales out of dangerously shallow waters in the Everglades Thursday. Ten whales have died. Snow and ice are expected Thursday on top of the cold snap hitting the upper Midwest. The icy weather could stretch south to Oklahoma and Arkansas. And the 76-foot tall Christmas tree at New York's Rockefeller Center is lit up Wednesday night. The tree has 45,000 LED lights. It's topped with a nine-foot white star. Matt Small, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This morning's featured Focus In on Dot Me Photo Gallery was taken by Vicki and Rich Tassaro at MAD's annual Taiwan On for Safety Awards luncheon. All of the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the Photos link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Now here's a look at your local East Texas weather forecast from meteorologist Scott Fossey. Your CBS 19 East Texas weather forecast today on this Thursday. Arctic air mass arriving across the area as we speak this morning with temperatures dropping off into the upper 30s by noon today. Rain chance is actually increasing this afternoon and this evening, but temps well above freezing. Down though cold into the mid 30s by your drive home this evening with wind chills well down into the 20s. Let me walk you through the day today. Overcast light sprinkles around the region this morning. All the frozen precip well to the north of the Red River and back west of Dallas Fort Worth. That changes in the Metroplex changing over to freezing rain this evening. They're under a winter storm warning starting at 6 p.m. tonight and a large swath of East Texas from Linden over to Gilmer to Tyler in areas west and northwest of there under ice storm warnings beginning at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Rain changing over to freezing rain. Western counties around daybreak tomorrow morning. It'll be mid to late morning before we see that occurring across the rest of East Texas on your Friday. Good news is ground temps very warm from highs in the upper 70s. It'll take a while for this to freeze. Temperatures drop into the upper 20s by tomorrow. Thanks for watching and check back throughout the day for more video news updates.